Human trafficking, it is a major problem around the world. Children, young adults are being abducted and sold for labor and sex, and it is happening in our area as well. The movie Sound of Freedom has shined a new light on this topic. WEAR Sarah Gale, she joins us. And Sarah, that movie is bringing attention to the problem that we have right here along the I-10 corridor. That's right. We mentioned blockbuster hits like Barbie and Oppenheimer, and you, our viewers, opened up the discussion of the movie The Sound of Freedom. Because of this, I went out and saw its impact in our community. God's children are not for sale. The Sound of Freedom is a hit movie currently in theaters, and it's about human trafficking. It's an issue that hits home. The state of Florida ranks third in the U.S. for human trafficking cases. The Department of Justice says that the I-10 corridor is known as a superhighway for human trafficking. This is all to say that this is not a myth. Human trafficking is the largest international criminal network and it's happening in our community. Sound of Freedom movie really shined a bright light on the atrocity of sex trafficking, particularly with children in other countries. But what it did for our community is it raised awareness. Florida, I spoke with Angela you know, Ishii, the executive of director of Magdalene, like an anti-human trafficking guess, organization based in Gulf Breeze. She says this movie has opened the eyes of the public to the horrors in our own community. We have businesses who are requesting training for all of their employees so they know how to spot it and then report it. We have individuals saying, what can I do? Can I volunteer with you? Can I donate? How can I make a difference in our own community? Michael Caro reached out to Magdalene's after the movie to learn more about this problem and how it relates to our area. Because it's easy to see something so far across in a different country and think we can't make any impact. But it's not only across the country, it's really across the street. And so what can we do on a local level? Various police agencies are on the lookout for human traffickers. Commercial vehicles, obviously, they're a big mover of product across the United States. And at times, those vehicles could be used illegally for human trafficking. The average age of a person trafficked is 12 years old. Statistics show that one person can be sold up to 40 times in a day. You can find tips on how to spot and report situations of tracking at WEARTV.com. And Magdalene's will be hosting an education and awareness event in the fall for the community. Live in the studio, Sarah Gale, WEAR News.